Alright, Gato. Black and white rain. Widescreen. Like violin. Like sad violin music. Slow pan. Fall down six times, stand up seven. If you're going through hell, keep going. It gets darkest before dawn. You know, all these motivational quotes about perseverance and in 2022 and for the past two years, I have an expression that I like to use and that I find myself using all the time. It goes a little something like this. Sometimes when things get bad, you do certain things and they just keep getting bad. And then you say it can't possibly get worse, but then it gets worse. And then you, you're like, you just you just keep asking yourself, it could, it just, there's no way that it, would, it could possibly ever get worse, but then it just keeps getting worse. And then you're like, well, there's no real point of doing anything. So then you just kind of go about your day like a little automaton robot, just, okay, you wake up, drink coffee, go to work, do this, do that, do this, do that. And then you find out that there's just, there's really no meaning in life because it's just one big cyclical thing. The second things start looking up, it's just a matter of time until it just drops down again. I don't really want to, I don't really want to finish this episode actually. Anyway, I've been on the cutting edge, okay? The tip of the spear, so to speak. That's right, I've been blazing the trail. I've been exposing watchmakers that have been getting lazy on their designs. That's right, I've been showing you that various watchmakers, big and small, expensive and more affordable, have just been making cookie cutter carbon copies of the AP Royal Oak. And so all of you out there, whenever I complain about this, say, oh, T3, you're just overreacting, you're just complaining, it doesn't ever get that bad. Oh, just relax, it's a fad, it will pass. Well, guess what? I thought that maybe you were right. I thought this was just flavor of the week, but then I saw this. All right, you're gonna tell me that it gets darkest before dawn. Oh, fall down six times, stand up seven. How will we ever recover from this? This is, this is hell. This is hell. That's right, this is watchmaking hell, all right? No, seriously, it's like a horror movie. Someone cut two watches in half and then took the pieces from the other two watches and then sewed them together. It's like human centipede, but it's like orology centipede. This is kind of the definition of a Franken watch, is it not? So if you're gonna tell me that this is just a going fad and uh, you know what, this is just flavor of the week, this isn't the new archetype of a wristwatch, stop overreacting T3, I urge you to take a look at this and pray to whatever God you communicate with. God help us. It is 4.51 p.m. Let's get down to business. That's right, we're talking about this watch called the Genta Genius from the watchmaker Genius Watches. Um, well, it's pretty interesting they call themselves Genius Watches because uh, in my opinion, this is a pretty stupid idea. And I would say that like, I hate this design, but the truth is we'd have to use the word design very loosely because they didn't really design anything. Like I said at the beginning of the episode, they kind of just took two very well established designs, cut it in half, and then mash them together. So it's not like, you know, they paid homage to certain design languages by implementing certain cues and tastefully kind of putting them together to create something new and interesting. No, they literally, it, it's like you took a picture of this watch and then you took a picture of this watch and then you just, like there's, it's not very novel, it's not very interesting and it's almost more boring and too on the nose, even when you compare it to other AP Royal Oak homages or homages, however you want me to say it, I don't care anymore, jeez. Here's a quote from Hypebeast.com. Split into two parts, the hidden crown allows for the watch to be worn in both orientations, where the 12 o'clock is interchangeable with the six o'clock. Not only does this watch have both the RO's signature octagonal case with the hexagonal screws, along with the Nautilus's porthole inspired design, sans ears, but the dial is split and contains both the trapezoid and uh, the horizontal bars of the Royal Oak and Nautilus respectively. That's not enough. You also get both iconic watch bracelets packaged in a single band. These Swiss made automatics, Genta geniuses are set to retail for 5,000 US dollars. So here's the deal guys, okay. 
You can throw away $5,000 on this Genta Genius watch, or you can spend $3,500 on a Tudor Black Bay. No, it's, bear with me, stay with me. Then $844 on a dumpster, then $5 on some kerosene and a lighter, then throw the Tudor Black Bay in the dumpster, pour some kerosene in there, light it on fire, then use your remaining $651 and buy a Boulder Expedition. That seems way more fun than buying that Genta Genius, right? You guys didn't think I, I would find a way to trash Tudor in this episode, but I, I always find a way, okay? Let me just get that straight right now. So here's the hard truth. Much like my Tudor jokes are getting kind of old and lazy, this AP Royal Oak homage train, uh, still, equally played out. This is a lazy cash grab, okay? Not only is it a bastardization of the Royal Oak, they also drew in the Patek Nautilus. Why'd you gotta bring that one in here? Now, I'm gonna be honest, I first thought this was a joke, okay? I thought this watch was just a joke render. Like, remember when H. Moser came out with that rendering of that watch that was an amalgamation of all the various different watchmakers and uh, the watch world went crazy and then H. Moser was like, we're not actually producing this watch, don't worry. Uh, it even had, I believe, like a Pepsi bezel and everything because they, they, it was just a very funny joke from a watchmaker that already doesn't really take themselves that seriously. That's why I really respect H. Moser as a Swiss watchmaker. Um, but then it ends up, this is like, this genius Genta is actually apparently a real thing and they're selling for big money at least they're trying to sell them for big money i don't know how many people are actually going to own this watch so here's the deal i recently made an episode talking about how this like recent epiphany i had was kind of just continuing to blow my mind and i just had to share with you guys I was talking about how like the AP Royal Oak might just be the new archetype for watches in general, right? Like when a lot of people think watches, they think of the Rolex Submariner. Um, that's just like the stereotypic wrist watch for people that don't know anything about watches. And so I think that like now in 2022, again, we saw this all throughout 2021 as well. All these various watchmakers are just making AP Royal Oak clones and it's getting kind of lazy, kind of played out. And I'm really, really hoping that this is just the peak of the fad and then it will trend downwards soon enough. But with things like this coming out, it's, it's hard to say, guys. This is just a bridge too far for me. And for $5,000, that's just, I mean, it, I want to laugh. It's just, I cannot believe it. Like, I can't believe it. It's such a lazy design. But guys, what do you think? Do you think it's worth $5,000? Do you think it's a pretty watch? And uh, do you think that it is acceptable? <laughs> because um, I need some perspective. I don't think that it's worth that money. I don't think it's acceptable and I don't think it's pretty. So um, yeah, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Leave me that comment. I wanna hear from you. But guys, either way, I hope you enjoyed this episode, this little bit of a rant. I had to uh, acknowledge this because a bunch of people sent this to my inbox and um, you guys knew that I was going to blow a gasket talking about this and I definitely did. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this episode. I will catch you on the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. And I remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. <laughs>